Yeah, I mean, we picked up a good game there on third and ten. Got all the way down to the one. Um, just try to tempo. We've been good on quarterback sneak this year. Uh, just try to rush up to the line um, and, and punch one in, and that's what we did. How much pride do you guys have in being one of five, six, seven teams that have two wins? Yeah, I mean, it, it is very prideful, and um, especially for me, for some of the older guys being here and, and living through, you know, some of the growing pains, um, and now ending up where we are, uh, getting to eight wins, finishing out, winning the bucket, um, and having an opportunity to go win nine is. Uh, I mean, it means a lot for sure because we've come so far. Being the emotion of getting that touchdown, what was it like, kind of being in that dunk I mean, it was awesome. I mean, those are the, those are the kinds of things you dream about, um, making big plays and big games, and um, you know, nerve wracking obviously in overtime. But uh, when we had the opportunity to punch that in, I mean, it was awesome just to celebrate with those guys out there. What did, what did you see on the play before your touchdown? Yeah, I mean, it was. I mean. Really well drawn up, first of all, from, from Coach DeBoer. Um, play that we've kind of ran a couple times this year. And, um, you know, we thought we'd been pushing them, you know, down the field. So let's just see if we can, um, you know, lull them to sleep a little bit and, and just uh, slip one in there. And that's what we did. He, Hendershot made a good catch and then picked up picked up a bunch of yards after that. Jake, you guys work on overtime things all year long. Came to that. How much different was the, was the play calls and situation? I actually realized there could be what you guys work on all the time. I oh, know it was real. It was, you know, just just like you draw it up. Um, you know, different situations when you're practicing throughout fall camp. Um, might be down a touchdown when you when you first have the ball. Might be down three like we were, and you got to go score a touchdown. So, um, the way that we've prepared, you know, spring ball all the way throughout fall camp and um, and into the season, just on our overtime stuff, uh, just trusting and believing, and that was was really helpful. Hey, you got you got one more game to go, but how how much? Does this game mean against these guys to cap off what's been a great season so far? I mean, it means a lot, um, especially not not winning this game the last two years, being so close to winning it, um, and finally and finally getting the win here is you know it's awesome. It, it feels you can I mean you can see it in the locker room, the emotion in there right now, and just um, the celebration. And, I mean, it's awesome. I can't really put it into words. Coming with establishing the run early, I had to get eight to start the game, and then uh, Samson getting those kind of tough you know, yards early in front of the game. Yeah, I mean, it was big. It was wet. The ball was, was slippery. Um, had to establish the run game. If we had to rely on the pass, um, it could have been a different story. But Samson ran, I mean, really, really hard. And that's something that we've seen. Um, ran so hard, O-line blocked really well. Kind of kind of got the momentum going our way early in the first half, which which obviously helped us. How kind of the block back, as far as just kind of opening up the pass again in the middle of the field, giving you guys maybe some more one-on-one -on -one matchups? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's so dynamic, and um, you know, when Wop's on the field, defenses always have to take into account where he is, and um, still able to get the ball, still able to make plays, because that's just who Wop is, and um, so passionate, uh, such a good player, uh, his role to win's off the charts, so having him out there was, was awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I actually was. We kind of checked something at the line of scrimmage, so um, I think there's a little confusion on their end. Saw pre-snap that you know there was nobody over WAP, and uh, you know just let one fly and, and let him run under it. What kind of development have you seen from Samson from the ball camp to now to be able to have the performance that he had out there today? Yeah, I mean I think I think we all knew Samson um, is a beast when he gets the ball. You know he's not afraid to lower his shoulder, um, but I think where he's really Really learned his pass blocking, pass protections, um, receiving, uh, just the little things that you know true freshmen obviously um, aren't necessarily attuned to, and, and he's gotten so much better throughout the course of the year. Obviously, having Stevie, he doesn't get as many touches as um, as he would probably like to, but he's grown so much, and, and that I mean that all came out today. Yeah, that was two. Yeah, that was two weeks in a row. Stevie actually tackled me into the end zone last week in Michigan, and um, and a rod got me in. And uh, you know, we take pride on that. You know, fourth and one or inches, one to go. Um, we'll do whatever it takes to get in there. And those guys did a really good job. Those guys up front and a rod um, kind of sealed it off for us. Yes, with this being your first bucket win as a starting quarterback in the team, is that a locker room that environment like celebrating? Yeah, I mean, uh, very emotional, uh, very prideful. Um, just seeing all the guys come together and just celebrate this thing. Um, 
I mean, awesome. Uh, it obviously is different than than the other wins that we've had this year, just because it, it does. It means more. Um, it's the bucket game, and I'm so proud of those guys. Um, so much fun in there, and um, you know we'll, we'll celebrate this one, and then we'll see where see what we got next, and start preparing for that.